WTTM 13 News begins with breaking news. This is the scene in Tuscaloosa. Folks gathering around the walk of champions placing items at the feet of Nick Saban's statue. A ESPN, the first to report today that Nick Saban is retiring. We've been hearing these rumors for days, but even so, this announcement has really shocked everybody. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Sherry Falk. I'm Guy Rawlings. We have team coverage from Tuscaloosa tonight. We'll get to them in a moment. Yeah, Nick Saban, though, is going to go down as arguably the greatest coach in college football history. In his 28 years of coaching, he's won 292 games, the majority of those at Alabama. That includes seven national titles. His 292 wins are good for sixth most in FBS history. Saban arrived in Alabama under intense scrutiny just days before he walked off the plane in Tuscaloosa. He told reporters in Miami that he flat out would not be coaching at Alabama. I don't know how else I can say it, guys. I've said it three different occasions. Well, then I guess I have to say it. I'm not going to be the Alabama coach. The late Mal Moore ended up wooing Miss Terry and eventually Nick. And to say the least, it's the end of an era. But what Saban did at Alabama may never be matched. Yeah, 206 wins to just 29 losses, six national championships, nine SEC titles. I guess we can all say it's an era of dominance like nobody has ever seen. The University of Alabama has been a very special place. This is a statement from Nick Saban that came in just a little while ago. Him talking about what a special place the university has been to him and his wife. He went on to say that we have enjoyed every minute of our 17 years being the head coach at Alabama as well as becoming a part of the Tuscaloosa community. He said it's not just about how many games we won and lost, but it's about the legacy and how we went about it. We always tried to do it the right way. The goal was always to help players create more value for their future, be the best player they could be, and be more successful in life because they were a part of this program. Hopefully we have done that, and we will always consider Alabama our home. We talk about what the teams accomplished, but uh, we... He helped so many players achieve so much. Yeah, absolutely. As we um, have been mentioning all evening, Mark Ingram brought home the Heisman in 2009. Derrick Henry, Bryce Young, also Devontae Smith would follow. The list of great players that he brought to the capstone is unreal. 44 first round draft picks, more than 60 All-American honors for 55 different players. And before Nick Saban, Alabama players had only won six individual awards. Saban by himself helped the Tide win 59. Every single four year player who played under Saban won at least one national title. All right, want to bring in Ryan Hennessy now and um, talk a little bit about his last statement that you were there for. Yeah, Rose Bowl about a week and a half ago. Every time you end a season, you think, could this be it? That's always the question, especially when he got to 70, 71. Uh, I didn't think this was it. Usually he thanks the media, very classy that he does that. But uh, Nick Saban, final game against Michigan in the Rose Bowl. This was his final state. Appreciate what the media has done all year long. Uh, it's great that you give a lot of positive uh, self gratification to a lot of players who work really, really hard and uh, create a lot of interest in our sport. Thank you for that. That is Nick Saban's final statement as the head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide.